pay and high risk, uh, uh, high risk on the job, the state is struggling to hire people we can count on to keep us safe. New data shows the vacancy rate across state government continues to climb, and that is a major challenge to public safety. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland live for us in Raleigh with more on the impact. Michael. And state officials said today they are making some progress with keeping the people on the job who are already there, but still facing challenges getting people in the door. In state prisons and other agencies responsible for public safety, the struggle to hire people is about more than just filling jobs. In these cases where life is on the line, it's time to act yesterday. The latest data we got shows the vacancy rate across state government climbed to 22.5% late this summer, up from 21.3% in the spring. But those rates are even higher in many public safety agencies, like prisons, where 40% of correctional officer positions are open. Even when I'm shopping at, at our local supermarket, I'm, I'm, I'm advertising and trying to recruit employees. Public Safety Secretary Eddie Buffalo says the state can't even match local agencies. Why would I leave uh, Durham County Sheriff's Office to come to work for state capitol police for ten to fifteen thousand dollars less. I'm having trouble sleeping at night. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Deputy Secretary Billy Lassiter, who oversees juvenile justice, said he had 177 people turn down jobs at one facility due to pay. I got one person that's cooking 128 meals three times a day for, for these kids. While lawmakers have approved raises, state officials say salaries are not competitive. They also want more workers to have annual raises built in and to boost pay in more expensive regions of the state. This is happening as the state is making adult corrections its own cabinet agency, separate from public safety. Artis Watkins at the State Employees Association of North Carolina says she hopes that'll help put more focus on the hiring issues. They'll have the freedom to take the time and resources to address those particular problems rather than trying to address so many issues that were under one roof. Just over half the jobs in juvenile justice are vacant right now, and officials say that's not only a safety concern, but also potentially a liability concern with trying to stay in compliance with federal standards. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.